say that I am a pretty good example of somebody who is kind of at their plateau st- stage without heavily dieting or heavily exercising. If I heavily exercised, I probably would lose some weight. Not for long, but I'm sure I'd lose it for a while. If I heavily dieted, I would probably lose some weight. Well, it would depend on what kind of exercise you did. That's true. That's because true. if you did um, weights and increased your muscle mass, then you I might, might even get, gain. get heavier. Weight, right. right. Okay. So, but I think for the purpose of my experiment, I'm a pretty good example of somebody who in a traditional setting could only lose weight in practical methodology by dieting and exercise okay Okay. they say that's the key right Right. diet and exercise they say that's the key i have tried that many a times in my life i have succeeded short term i have then went on to fail and probably gain more weight back it's been a little yo-yo so i just kind of cut that out of my life a long time ago and i said god made me the way he made me i'm gonna eat to satisfy myself I'm going to exercise to satisfy myself, and however my weight falls is how I'm going to be happy. So that's how I live my life. I'm 200 pounds, and I'm happy with it, okay? So I think I would be a very good experimental subject to change just a few things, not diet, not exercise, but just a few things to see if it truly works. Like what? Ah, you're intrigued, I can tell. I am. Well, as a nutritionist, this is fascinating You got the look. I do. Yes, mm, that's, that's because we must document this to make it a good test. Cool. Excellent. I'm willing to do that. I have the forms. <laughs> Beautiful. She's already got me covered. So I, I'm so silly. I'm looking for my phone. <laughs> so, um, but what? <laughs> I know. Uh, I digress. Um, but I have a list on my phone. That's why I was looking for my ah, phone. Okay. But the first thing that I'm going to do was something that was shared with me a long time ago. I started to put it into practice, and I believe it helped. And what that is is infusing my water with love, unconditional love, before I drink it. Okay. I'm going to write this down for yep. us. Okay. Very good. So number one is infused... Love infused water. Love infused water. I'm going to infuse my water with love, unconditional love, before I drink it. Now, this is a methodology that was brought to my attention when somebody said to me, you know what? Somebody told me, it was, it was a mentor, it was a teacher, they told them, that if you can't love yourself, if you don't know how to love yourself, you need to... Infuse a water bottle, water with your love, and then drink it. And do that every day for a month until your body learns to accept its own love. The vibration of its own love. Oh my gosh, I have a coaching client I can try that with. Isn't that cool? I mean, just the whole concept of that kind of makes sense. Sometimes we just don't know how to accept our own love. It's foreign to us. And we can readily and easily give it to everybody around us, but we have such a hard time giving it to ourselves. So I practiced it for a while, and then I kind of forgot about it, and which I do with a lot of things, um, and I left it go. But you know what? Thinking back on it, it was at a time in my life where I was very distraught. I was very depressed. It was very hard for me to conjure any kind of love. So I don't even remember what I was thinking about. I think I was thinking about, like, the day I gave birth to my child. Like, oh, the love that I felt. And I just imagined that day. And I just imagined how much unconditional love I had for that baby when they put that baby in my arms. And I just thought about it and hugged my water and thought about it and hugged my water and thought about it and hugged my water. And then I drank it. And I did that probably every day for at least two weeks. And something shifted. I can't tell you if that's what did it. Hmm. But you know I changed a lot over this Mm -hmm. last six, eight months Mm -hmm. as far as loving. Everything. Loving. Especially loving. Just not only myself, but everybody else around me. And and getting to the point where I don't don't withhold my love from people based on condition. I don't. So, um... 
that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start that practice again. I'm going to see if that will actually help to put my body in a frame of mind of wellness. And that's really what it's about. I invite wellness into my world. I invite wellness into my body. And the only way that I can do that is if I truly show myself unconditional love and love myself no matter what. And I don't know if I'm great at it yet without the middleman. So I'm going to consider water my middleman because I don't know if I'm great at self-love yet. I'm going to do that too. Do it. All right. We'll both Starting do it. today. Okay. So okay. that's number one. We're going to infuse our l- water bottles, our water, with unconditional love and then drink it. And that is going to give the middleman for a while till our body learns how to accept true wellness, true love unconditionally. Okay? okay. So that's number one. All right. Number two is I am going to adopt the law of attraction methodology of blessing my food. I'm going to meditate, go to Theta, ask Creator, ask for all good blessings, only to use the calories in the highest good, and any excess needs to be eliminated through the traditional means and methods of my body, and that I don't hang on to anything extra, and I don't store any unnecessary foods or toxins from whatever it is I'm eating. Now, I am not going to change my diet, Deb. Okay. I am not going to change my diet at all. I'm just going to change what I do before I eat it. And we're going to see. Okay. Okay. That's number two. Um, Let me see. I might be able to get to this. I probably am not. But I'm going to try. I'm going to see if I can get to this list. Because that bums me. Eh, I think I screwed it up. But that's okay. Quick, write the rest of this down. Okay. Number three. Number three, and she lost it. (laughs) Talk amongst yourself for a second. Okay. (laughs) So, you know, um, it's very interesting that you are going to do this because I love experiments. I love experiments. I experiment with everything before I share it to make sure it works. Like when I hear somebody say something, Mm -hmm. before I tell anybody else, I try it. Yeah. See, that's what I want to do. I want to try this. I want to see. Is is there something to it? Oh, oh, okay. Number three. Just put 5 p.m. 5 p.m. And... Number four. Is there a four? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Before breakfast. Number four. Four before breakfast. And number five is water. Okay. In addition to the other water. Right. Okay. All right. So let me see if I'm still. Resume. I was interrupted, but I'm resumed. All right. We're good. Okay. Number three is 5 p.m. Okay. So number three is I'm going to try to eat, because I was talking, I was alluding to this earlier. I'm going to try to eat prior to 5 p.m. I am going to try to have my cutoff time for eating uh, at 5 p.m. Uh, what happened? Something weird happened. So no eating after 5. Right. No eating after 5 p.m., which is going to be very difficult for me because I'm working until 6. So that means that at some point between 4 and 5, I'm going to have to take a short break and go back and eat eat my dinner, whatever my dinner is going to be. Okay. And uh, then I have to go home and I have to, you know, then cook or whatever for everybody else and get everybody else fed. And How I'm not going to eat. What if you crock-potted for them? You know, I'm a big crock-potter and that's a problem because people get sick of crock-pot food. But um. but I, I do that. I do that about twice a week. Um, Patrick or the boys cook twice a week and then the rest of the time – the other two days I pretty much cook when I get home from work. But it's usually simple stuff, stuff that only takes maybe a half hour, 45 minutes at the most. So, But I'm not going to eat it. Okay. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my portion and I'm going to save it, save it for, that's for 4 o'clock yes. tomorrow. Yes. And that's going to be dinner tomorrow. That's good. 
So that is my plan, Stan. Okay. Okay. All right. Number four. What was number four? Before breakfast. Okay. This was brought to my attention a long time ago. Now, I told you I need to start exercising again, and I'm going to. Um, But I'm going to do it before breakfast. Now, I didn't always do that, but this was brought to my attention a long time ago, and I tried it for maybe six months, and it really did work. It made you feel better, and and it made you lose. I'll tell you why when you're finished. Oh, cool. So eat before, before, I'm sorry, exercise before you eat anything. And... So that's what I'm going to do. When I get up, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to, I'm going to drink my water. You always have to drink your water, but then nothing with calories because I want that to be what I'm burning. So now I want to hand it off to you because I want to hear your, your take on it. Okay. So your body is, is like a furnace, your metabolism. It'll actually do more than what you think. Okay. And this is why I always exercise before I ate anything solid. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, number one, you should never eat anything in the morning before noon because your body is trying to eliminate the stuff that was there to begin with. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when you exercise... Wait a minute. I just want to point out, everybody and their brother has been told from the get-go... First thing in the morning you do is wake up and have breakfast. You got to break that fast. You got to break that fast. All right. Mm, Go ahead. (laughs) I agree with you, but I just want to throw that out there. And there's so many misnomers through, I mean, that's why, one of the reasons why we have such a problem with obesity in our nation. Right. Is because breakfast foods have so much fat in them. Biscuits, bread. Bad information. Bacon, sausage. Okay, so... So our body is, our metabolism is like a furnace, so it burns calories. That's what it does. Mm -hmm. So when you feed it, if you have a slow metabolism, that food's going to stay with you longer. It's going to store if you're not exercising, if you're not doing anything. But if you exercise first thing in the morning, it's like you're putting fuel in the fire. Mm -hmm. All day, your body will burn more calories. Awesome. Yes. Yes. And if you if you just go for a walk or something, uh, just a little brisk walk, you know, you got to get your heart rate up a little bit, but not a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can do that seven minute workout that you can download on your phone before you eat. That works well too. Anything to get your your um, furnace revved up is mm-hmm. what you're doing. You're putting fuel in your furnace. You're to burn stuff faster. Right. So any calories that you're that you eat after that will go where they need to go, and the rest will come out instead of being stored. Awesome. Yes. So th- your fat will actually decrease over time. This is a healthy way to do it. Mm-hmm. And I did it for a long time, and it really did help. I mean, it was part of what I did to lose the 20 pounds mm-hmm. was that I exercised before I ate. Now, I am hypoglycemic, so I can't go till noon i know i can't do that but i definitely can get up at six and exercise and then by 10 o'clock i really need to eat something you could have make yourself a nice big smoothie oh yeah because you said only solids right right. solids so i could do a protein shake i am not a breakfast eater Mm -hmm. i don't i i i I am hungry all day i like and if i I eat in the morning i'm hungry all day yeah and what so, did you just say? If, you if do, I eat in the morning, I'm hungry, hungry all, day. all day. Isn't that interesting? Yes. Because you would think it would satisfy you to where you wouldn't want as much food throughout the day. Right. But if I eat my protein smoothie, I have protein powder, collagen um, for my joints, and uh, wheatgrass, mm-hmm. and a banana. Which is good for everything. And apple awesome. cider vinegar. Mm-hmm. And that's and water, of course. Sometimes I put a little shot of lemon in there, but I drink my lemon water too. But, um, and I drink that in the morning, and I'm good until noon. I don't have to eat anything else until noon. I'm I'll have not to hungry. try that. It's really I'll good. I'll have to try that. Yeah. Um, so that. And then the other thing that, that I got at the same time, I don't remember where this came from. I wish I did. I'm sorry, people. I always do this to you. I throw this information <laughs> out. And I'm like, I don't know where I learned this. But the other thing at the same time when I learned about uh, – 
exercising before you eat. And by the way, the what they really stressed about it was if you put a if you put something into your